Hey everyone, Nazori here, and today we're going to be going over part one of our magic weapon tier list. This is going to cover our fire staves for small scale PvP. Basically, what that entails is ranking the weapons between S and F based on how good they are in groups of around three to nine players or so. We don't want to include anything about really soloing or getting into ZVZ style things. This will be simply and strictly for small scale PVP and mostly focused around the open world. So not really looking at Hellgates or anything like that. And this will be honestly my opinion where I think these weapons sit on a small group roaming the open world. And yeah, there will be also more parts to this tier list. This will be just the fire staffs, honestly, I was looking at doing all of the tier lists together, but even just the magic weapons, there are 35 magic weapons. So breaking them all down takes a while. So this will be just the fire staffs first, and we're gonna do the other ones in other parts. So without anything further, here we go with the first fire staff on the list, the Dawn Song. Now the Dawn Song is the one that shoots out the Phoenix. It leaves a trail on the floor, which deals damage, provides an anti-heal, and honestly is pretty effective in small scale PVP. We're gonna be throwing this one right up near the top at an A tier. This staff is honestly, I feel a little underused. A lot of people will use a lot of the fire staffs for the Dawn Song, but I think the Dawn Song is actually incredibly strong. The damage is not bad, and the anti-heal, if placed correctly, can completely turn a fight in your favor. So we gotta leave the Dawn Song right up there at A tier. If choosing to go out with the Dawn Song for small scale PvP, I'd recommend using Q2 and a Firewall for most situations. Moving on to our second staff in the Fire Staff list, we have the Brimstone Staff. This one is going to be sitting right down at the bottom at F tier. There is no reason to be bringing a Brimstone on anything other than ZVZ. If I go out on a small scale roam with a group of friends and one of them shows up with a brimstone, I am sending their ass back to town to go get a different staff. The brimstone has a slow meteor that drops from the sky and it is incredibly easy for most people to avoid. So the only way you're really landing this is if you have some real good heavy CC. And even then, it's a little lackluster in the damage compared to the other stabs when dealing with a small number of targets. This one really shines in ZVZ, does not shine in small scale PVP. It's gonna sit right down at F tier. Our third fire stuff on the list is the one-handed fire. This one shoots out a fireball with its E that can be instantly cast or charged up for more damage. Now, this is on a short cooldown, and honestly, in my opinion, very underrated. The one-handed fire recently got a rework, and most people are considering it not a great weapon to use almost anywhere, but Honestly, I've spent a lot of time with it, and I feel like it's misunderstood. The one-handed fire is probably one of the best options for speed casting single target damage. While that's maybe not the best thing for some compositions in small scale open world, it actually can provide quite good value for single target focus, for burning down a tank, or just really picking off targets in the back line. I gotta sit the one-handed fire right up at A tier. I think it's got one of the best damage output potentials that includes single target focus. Honestly, it's a favorite of mine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at A tier as a decent single target option for small scale play. So next up on our list is our S tier pick for small scale open world PVP. It is the Great Fire Staff. It is one of my personal favorites to roam around with. It is incredibly effective at putting out damage on an enemy group. Uh, creates a small circle, does a lot of damage, and the cooldown goes down to about eight seconds or a little less when you have cooldown reduction and you hit someone with that E. It is one of the best choices for roaming around on a small scale. You can use this for ganking, group fighting, clap comps, or even just something where you're trying to kite and use pressure. It is extremely versatile and extremely good. It absolutely deserves S tier rating for small scale open world PvP. So it goes right up there at the top. Next, we have the Infernal Staff. The Infernal Staff is one that I think people are going to possibly disagree with me on. The Infernal Staff is the one that targets a single user, ignites them, and leaves a trail behind them, which can silence enemies as well if they walk through it. It does not silence the user, and it honestly doesn't do a ton of damage. To me, the Infernal Staff is a bit avoidable. Anytime someone on our team gets an Infernal Staff, if they're smart, they just step away from the group. They don't take a ton of damage. And uh, honestly, it really doesn't do a whole lot. There are some good applications too. If 
you're versing someone who's got a heavy melee dive comp, that can be extremely disruptive because a lot of their users are running around the same exact area. The damage output can actually be decent and provide some silence, which is pretty disruptive. But in all honesty, I don't see the Infernal Staff working too well in the open world for groups. I got to give it a C tier. I would put it middle of the road, usable, but not my favorite pick for a group. Second to last staff on the list is the Wildfire Staff. It is the other one-hand Fire Staff option, which is capable of single target speed casting. So that's got a pretty good benefit to it. The Meatball provides a pretty large chunk of damage that is not reflectable and does percent health damage. The only downside to this E is that it's on a 30 second cooldown and it is possible to dodge it as the meatball doesn't move the fastest in the world but if you know what you're doing you can usually land it on a few targets guaranteed this one i would compare very similarly to the one-handed fire if i were to put either of them above the other Honestly, I'd say I prefer the one-handed fire over the wildfire. I got to sit the wildfire right in the A tier as a really good option to bring. But personally, I feel the one-handed fire does a slightly better job at raw damage output consistently and damage that's not dodgeable. So I got to put them both on the same tier. And since they're both so similar, if I were to pick a favorite, I would actually say the one-handed fire. And I know a lot of people will disagree with me on that. And that's okay. This is my opinion. They both are great staves. I just feel the wildfire is on a much longer cooldown. Now, having said that, if you're doing something like a clap composition where you're going for just deleting players in a single go, the wildfire is your play. It does more damage in a single burst, even though it's got a longer cooldown. So it really depends on what you're going for in your group composition. But all in all, great staff, A tier. Let's move on. The last one on the list is the blazing staff. This is one of my personal favorite weapons in the entire game. It has one of the strongest E's, if not the strongest E for damage in the game. There is obviously a lot of counterplay to it. Simply stepping out of the fire tornado, blinking, using an invulnerability, all these things can completely shut down the Blazing Staff's capability. Having said that, if you are heavily coordinated with a good tank that has a purge and a, and a repeated stun, the Blazing Staff can absolutely melt opponents. For those of you who have watched our live streams know that I've used the Blazing Staff extensively, and I would put it in the right composition at an S tier. Having said that, most people are not going to be running in a heavily coordinated composition to utilize the Blazing Staff. So in general use for small scale combat, I'm actually going to give it an A tier. It's a great tool, very effective. I will say that if you're a fan of using Fire Staffs and you're looking for the right Fire Staff for a group, the Blazing Staff, while very good, might not be your choice. If you don't have a very well coordinated tank with you, this Blazing Staff quickly falls ineffectiveness. So keep that in mind when choosing which staff to use for your group. The Blazing Staff is a great effective choice that you can use. Uh, and that about wraps up our Fire Staff tier list for small scale open world PvP. We do have a couple more parts that we're going to be adding on to this. Like I said at the start, we decided to do this in small chunks because there's simply too many weapons in Albion, and we're going to be putting these videos out very quickly if they're well received. So if you like this video and you want to see more tier lists, for the weapons of Albion, let me know by hitting the like button or put a comment down below. And if you disagree or agree with any of my choices, I'd love to hear it. These are my opinions, and I would love to hear what you have to say as well about them. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.